Hello, Internet people. Quartermaster here, showing off the newly finished, completely, well, almost entirely, uh, English cockpit for MiG-21, which I just finished a couple days ago. We're going to go through a few instruments one by one and uh, see what's been converted, what's changed, what's the same, how it works. And uh, to demonstrate this, we're going to showcase a landing of mine. This is a practice landing, so don't laugh. I'm still learning the MiG. It's not easy. Speaking of which, um, that's what drove me to make this mod in the first place, was I learned to fly on a real aircraft as a uh, young man in the United States, and I'm very American. And I learned in knots and feet, things like that, not meters. So. I've gone through, well I started with the uh, airspeed indicator and the altimeter initially. After I finished those I thought to myself, you know, I really would just like to finish the rest of the cockpit. Um, Why well, stop there? So uh, to demonstrate again how this, you know, how these work and how to they're read and whether or not they may be helpful to you, if you are an American like myself, here's a landing with uh, this mod conversion. Note that I also converted the um, arc sectors, RSBN, which is the same as PRMG, and radio channel markups in the cockpit here by the request of a user on the forums uh, into English. This is not included with the stock mod, which you find on user files, um, but it's on the forum thread if you want to download it and add it. Note that I don't know what channel 20 is. I can't find a reference for it. It's blank. I'm sorry. Hope I didn't screw that up. Anyway, we're lined up here. Uh, this is a practice flight. I flew in from uh, Batumi to Anapa. As you can see, I'm actually landing above weight. I should have less fuel. Speaking of which, we'll start here. Fuel gauge reads in pounds. Blue line is your safe to land weight. Red zone is your uh, the red zone. At the beginning here is your minimum fuel to land. Hydraulic pressures are still in. Uh, metric units because they're absolute quantities, they're color-coded. I don't really see a reason to change that. Same with engine temperature. That's in uh, Celsius. I don't see a reason to change that. I cannot change this to miles for, uh, well, if you have to ask. Yeah, you just can't. It's not going to happen. Uh, anything that's not been converted into U.S. units has been labeled in English. Indicated airspeed here has markers. This is cruising. This is pattern entry, and below the and uh, below this, safe to deploy gear and flaps. This is your threshold speed, more or less. Uh, this is your touchdown speed. You want to stay in here and landing. You can see I'm getting a little too slow here, but I'll live. Uh, the altimeter I'll go through in a second here once we put down. But say suffice to say, it's the best I could do. Uh, I can't change these needles to reprogram them. I tried with a, with the with the Lua, it just doesn't work. Uh, ten thousands, hundreds. Uh, radar altimeter reads in feet AGL below two thousand feet. Everything's been relabeled in English. Everything. I mean, literally everything. Every gauge, even these guys down here. Uh, alpha channel obviously is included and tested and works properly, so the lights all work. Velocity, vertical velocity here reads in feet per second. Uh, other than that, everything's fairly unchanged. The ASP has been all relabeled in English. This includes Mainstay's Clean ASP Block Mod. Hope he doesn't mind. Thank you for your excellent work. That was included, uh, that was requested actually. Uh, the only things in the cockpit really that have not been changed are uh, these little red warning placards over here. Everything else has been labeled. See your altimeter there working, reading accurately. Airspeed reading accurately, there's touchdown speed. Not the world's perfect best landing, but I am damn proud of it <laughs> after the few hours I've spent learning this thing, because man, it's not like anything else I've ever flown in a simulator. And I uh, live the next week on great lengths. So, again, just to recap indicate airspeed, barometric altitude, radar altitude, velocity. Uh, vertical velocity and turn indicator, uh, also fuel quantity, have all been converted into U.S. units. They all read accurately. These dial faces that I've made are accurate to 14 decimal places. So rest assured, the tick marks are all very accurate.
Whether the gauges are totally accurate, I don't know. Leatherneck really went pulled they really pulled out all the stops making the MiG-21 very Soviet and very real, so for all I know, the cages in here are very Soviet and not totally accurate. But my dial faces are. I've converted everything. Fire extinguishers, oxygen, gear, the autopilot, RSBN, heck, even the uh, Jado jettison switch cover. Everything's been Englishized, except for the uh, self-destruct button here. If you don't know what that is by looking at it, well, you got deeper problems. Also, probably never use it. But again, everything's been converted. Spent about a week on this in my spare time, because I have a majorly serious case of OCD. And um, the link for download is in the description of the video. Links to all the other any other mods I've used in this video are in the description. So where do I find this mod? Where do I find that mod? What mods were used? Where did you get that? It's all in the description. And this is JSGME compatible. Just make a file or make a folder in your JSGME directory, label it whatever you want to label it, and uh, drop it in. Off you go. That's pretty much it. Hope you enjoy. Hope you enjoy the mod. If you have any questions or comments about the mod, if you'd like to see any alternate versions of the mod, please leave a comment or shoot me a message on the DCS forums. My username is Quartermaster. And I will be happy to talk to you about it, show you around how to do it yourself, or do it with you if I get enough, or do it for you rather, if I get enough requests. Have a pleasant day and enjoy your next flight.